Hi all, in this video I want to share to you three ways we can hack a DC DC converter. Remember to subscribe. Nothing more, let's start. So the first method is to use a DAC to inject some current in the feedback loop of our converter. In fact, you know that most of the DC DC converter use two feedback resistors to set the output voltage. Here I rapidly made a back converter on breadboard that used a LM2596. As you can see, we have the input and output capacitors, a diode, the inductor, and the feedback resistors. I will tell you at the end of the video to calculate the resistors. Now to hack our LM2596, we add the third resistor between the other two and a DAC. Here I used a MCP4725 module, but you can use whatever DAC you have. For added flexibility, I replaced the FB1 and FB3 with potentiometers. Let's try it. So here you have 18 volts at the input, here it is the modded back converter and I have 12 volts at the output. Now I'm gonna click on 2, so 9 volt, 3, 5 volt, 4, 3.3 and back to 1 to 12 volt. You can use really whatever you want. You can use IR, you can use, I don't know, USB host shield, Bluetooth, joystick, I don't know, <laughs> or Wi Fi if you want. Please use an OP amp if you can. This is because the buffer stage will kind of isolate our duck in case something goes wrong and will allow you to have more flexibility in your design. You can even amplify your duck signal if you want. Here I'm using a basic cheap uh, 358P. The second method is to take a PWM pin of our MCU and then use a low pass filter to convert it to an analog signal. I used a 4K7 and a 22 microfarad, but anything close to those values is okay. Now the blue waveform is the PWM signal and the yellow one is the filter signal. As the duty cycle increases, we get an increased analog signal. So we hook it up to our circuit and now we can control it with PWM. Here I'm using the serial monitor to modify the duty cycle and so the output voltage. So we have 12 volt, then we type in 114 and we get 9 volt. Oh. Okay. And then we type in 198, so 5 volt, and the last one 233. There we go, 3.3 volt. The third method is to use a digital potentiometer like this NCP4017. Digital potentiometer can dynamically change its resistance through SDA and SCL in this case. So with our MCU we can say, hey, now go to 1K or 2K and so on. Unfortunately, I don't have here a digipot that I can use, so I can't really show to you. So how do we calculate R1, R2 and R3? Well, I have for you two equations that are these two. And um, uh, we have VREF, that is the reference voltage of your uh, converter, R1, R2 and R3 are the resistor as displayed in this uh, configuration and uh, we have VDAC mean that is the minimum voltage that you can output with your, your DAC uh, or with your PWM filtered signal and VDAC max is the maximum voltage you can uh, get. If you want you can plug the equation into Wolfram Alpha and it will give you the exact values. Although I found these values to be a little bit off, but we have a potentiometer for this purpose. Now let's add this uh, pre-made boost module. Okay, we have 3.3 volts. Uh, this is the electronic load, the Arduino, and the filter. Uh, these are the values. PWM 15 goes to 12 volt. So let's try it. Okay, 15 goes to 12 volt. Now let's try 120. 
There we are, 9 volt, 255. And there we go, 5 volt. You can even change the output uh, even when it's running. Here we have a 200 milliamp. So as soon as it starts, uh, there we go. Now I want to change. So let's try 9 volt. There we go. But I don't know if this uh, can hurt your converter really. <laughs> And uh, so let's try 12. There we go. And um, yep, yeah, it works, but I don't know if it will hurt your converter. And this is the current. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.